continuing with the second and final step to upload your Falcon F5 bore data. We just wrote down its serial ID and Bluetooth address and are now in a new LWD session inside the upload control, noted by the toolbar's blue highlighted upload control icon. We're going to go ahead and click on the manage Bluetooth button so that we can enter the Falcon F5's Bluetooth device address here, the alphanumeric address. Note that the letters are not case sensitive. In the Bluetooth device name, we'll enter in the receiver serial number. And I'll click add. If I were to click change or delete, I must click OK to save those changes. I can see that the Bluetooth radio that was button that was previously grayed out has now got a blue dot inside and this device name drop-down is populated by the serial number and the serial port connection drop-down also shows the Blue Giga Bluetooth Low Energy. If you do not have the Bluetooth device plugged into your PC, please do so now, then close and reopen the upload control. I will now click the Connect to Device button to complete the upload. Remember that your Falcon F5 needs to be two to four feet within range of the Bluetooth USB plugged into your PC. You will see the radio button flashing to indicate data is uploading and upon successful file transfer, the Falcon F5 will beep four times. We can edit the job information now or click OK and edit it at some other time. We see a green line representing the bore's topography and a blue line representing the bore's profile. Below the profile chart is the pressure chart. In our case, this bore was approximately 400 feet in length and a max depth of about 22 feet. Note that as I hover my mouse over any portion of either profile chart, I see pertinent information. If I scroll to the far right, I see that there are some empty columns saving a room for latitude and longitude should we have been using an integrated GPS module, it would have automatically recorded the latitude and longitude information with every data point we recorded. You can also add utility markers, you can edit the job information, and you can annotate and edit your graph to better represent your job. Look for the video on how to edit and annotate your Falcon F5 bore data. To complete this discussion and save your bore data, click File, and File Save, designate a file name and a storage location, and click Save. We'll just X out of here. If you would like to email your file to someone who does not have the LWD software, use a free app such as Microsoft PDF, Primo PDF, or Bullzip PDF. And then from your printer options, select your PDF app, in my case, Microsoft Print to PDF, Click OK, designate a file name and a file location, and click Save. Thank you for watching. That's Eileen Bram with Digital Control Incorporated, signing off.